Bellingham's Christina Dodd is a best-selling author of romance novels. Not only does she have a new book out, Scent of Darkness, but she recently donated $5,000 to the Whatcom Literacy Council. Christina, thanks for being a guest on Northwest Notebook. Thank you now, for having me, Ty. Fairly new to Bellingham, right? Three years. Three years. So how did you get here? Um, we lived in Texas for 20, uh, okay, originally I'm from California, my husband's from Idaho, so we're Western people, but we lived in Texas for 21 years, and when our kids got ready to go to college, we said, we don't have any family ties here, we still have family in Idaho, so we went looking for some place that we would really enjoy in the West, and this is the place we found, it's beautiful, it's, yeah, it's, it's terrific. a great place. Now your book's extremely popular, you're a bestseller. There aren't, they aren't just romance novels, they're paranormal romance novels. Please explain to somebody like myself. The paranormal romance is a huge part of the market right now. It concerns romance that's a little bit different. For instance, this series is a series about shapeshifters. And there's an ancient pact with the devil, and this family has chosen to break the pact. Yeah, tell us more about uh, your new book, uh, Scent of Darkness. Uh, Scent of Darkness. Th this is the setup for the whole series, and in it there's a prophecy that comes true right away. This family discovers that they have to unite these family icons, and when they do, it'll break the, the pact with the devil. But, of course, the rest of the family, who are also shapeshifters, are really against this, and there's a lot of adventure. There's a lot of romance, and um, all of these guys have have fabulous women who have to stand up and at their side and help them. Now you were telling me before we uh, did this interview that this is a very competitive market, paranormal romance. I had no idea. Absolutely. And, and uh, how did that start and when did the trend start? I had no, no clue. Um, romance has really been huge since like, by 1985. And romance itself is 55% of the paperback market. In 2004, romance made $1.2 billion. So about, I'd say, six years ago, the vampire romances became huge, 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 and, and uh, women adore them. These are men who are beyond the normal rules. They can sweep them off their feet and take them it's away. It's hard to measure up to. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> but, um, and so it, it's become, pro I, I would guess, and I'm sticking my neck out here, I'd say it was probably half of the market right now. You and your husband are involved in a lot of charities, as I mentioned earlier, $5,000 to the Whatcom Literacy yeah. Council. What are some other ones you're involved in? We just, uh, when the Bellingham Band put out a call that they needed uniforms because they simply didn't have anything, my husband, who was formerly in band, said, we need to send money. So we sent them $5,000, too. Um, we, we just simply try and support the community. It's incredibly important to support, support the community that you're in and to give people a chance. If, if you are blessed, then you need to share the wealth. And what other causes do you hold near and dear to your heart and why? Um, literacy is the main thing we're always working at, but I'm always looking to help the homeless. I came from uh, a tough background. My father died right before I was born. My, my mother wasn't employed. Uh, I have two sisters and it was, it was tough and people helped us and that's what you need to do. You need to help women, you need to help children, you need to get out there and help the people that need to be helped. Do your charities influence your writing at all? Your experiences working with charities? You're talking about it. Uh, my personal experiences yeah. of course influence my writing. All of my heroines are almost always poor women who are struggling to get Is ahead. Is that right? And by the time they get done with the book, they have the life they want, they have the man they want, and, you know, absolutely the best sex in the world. So what else can we ask for? <laughs> now, why don't more Americans read? There is one point, one out of every six Americans is illiterate, functionally illiterate. That's a, that's a huge problem. And uh, with the rise of the internet, we really have got to bring these people into the world of reading. Has the internet hurt reading, you think? Reading books, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I find myself skimming the internet constantly, and then I don't want to read a book. Um, my own reading has gone down because I spend a lot of time answering email. I spend a lot of time, you know, reading things online. So yeah, absolutely, I think it has. Well, Christina Dodd, thanks for being a guest on Northwest Notebook, and best of luck with your new book. Thanks Center so much. Darkness. Thanks so much.